Hi everyone, my name is Ava and I'm an American living in the Netherlands and today I wanted to talk to you about one Dutch concept that has totally changed my life. Totally changed your life? Ava, are you exaggerating? Absolutely not. The topic that I want to talk to you about today is gezelligheid. In the rest of the video, I'm actually going to share my experiences with gezelligheid in Dutch culture. I'm going to give you some examples of where I see it around me, my interactions with it, and how I actually see Dutch culture coming together and revolving around gezelligheid. I feel like some examples might surprise you, so let's get into it. So gezelligheid is kind of a difficult concept to explain. It is infamously difficult to explain the word gezellig or gezelligheid. And I think people internationally might be more familiar with hygge, which is Danish. And I don't know if I'm saying that right because I am not Danish and don't speak a word of Danish besides that one word, which I'm probably not saying correctly. But I think there are important differences to talk about between hygge and gezelligheid, or however you pronounce those two words. Now, when you think of hygge, probably the first image that at least comes to mind for me and maybe for you is cozy blankets, candlelight, reading at home, having a nice cozy time. But when I think of gezelligheid, that's not the first image that comes to mind for me at least, but I'm not Dutch, so you Dutchies, please go ahead and comment down below. I feel like when I think of gezelligheid, I think of having a nice time with friends, being social, sitting outside, having a drink with people, and then saying, oh, this was gezellig. You know, like seeing my friend was very nice. Oh, it's windy. It's, you're not living in the Netherlands if it's not, you know, windy, rainy, or cold. One of those things at least. Even on a beautiful summer's day like this, there's a bit of wind, you know, but that's kind of nice. I approve. So if I were to start off by describing what I think gezelligheid is, I would describe a dinner with friends. Of course, it's very cozy. You're in a nice restaurant or maybe in someone's homes. Yes, put on the atmosphere. Candlelights, comfy seats, all of that is present. It's a very nice place to be in. But the most important key ingredient is having a nice conversation with friends. You're maybe having a nice drink of your choice and you're talking into the late hours of the evening and everyone is feeling happy. They feel close to their friends and you leave the evening feeling energized and refreshed and maybe even tired after you know sharing your thoughts and talking and maybe you laughed so much that you couldn't breathe. All of this is gezellig. It's all about that interaction, conversation, being around people you love and having a nice time. And the atmospheric aspect comes second. Whereas I think I would kind of flip those two around for hygge. But what do I know? So if you have any thoughts on this, feel free to drop a comment down below. Okay, so now I wanna tell you about some examples of how I see gezelligheid all around me. And then I'm gonna go into how I see it actually being so integrated into Dutch culture that I didn't even realize it was so integrated until I started thinking about it and I came up with my own theory. So that will be next. But first, we're gonna talk about some examples of how you might see gezelligheid in the Netherlands if you come to visit. A beautiful sunny day like this is just the perfect reason to experience some Dutch gezelligheid. Because do you think Dutch people are going to spend their time sitting at home on a wonderful day like this? No, absolutely not. They're gonna meet up with friends, they're going to sit on a terrasje, but it's all done very socially. And on a day like this, people don't wanna be by themselves or going to their mov the movies by themselves. No, you wanna be outside, seeing friends, hanging out, and talking, having a pleasant social time. And what makes a terrace, like a terrace seating area outside, gezellig, I think is the people there. I've noticed that time and time again, the Dutch people I'm with will choose a terrasje that's full of people. And if there's like one spot in the middle, they'll be like, oh, that spot is for us. That was meant to be. And it's so funny because that wouldn't be my first instinct. It is now because I completely changed my mind around what I find pleasant and what attracts me. But in the beginning, I remember this vividly that my wife would be like, no, no, no. That place does not look as gezellig as that place because that place has more people. Or that restaurant doesn't have enough people in it. It's not very gezellig, even though it was a really cute, tiny restaurant. Of course, that's not always the case, but I noticed this pattern time and time again, which I think is a little different from how I would do things in the US or how I used to view pleasant and coziness in the US. Another fun activity, you could see people on a boat or their people are out there supping. That's like stand up paddle boarding. <laughs> so used to the Dutch term. I don't know if people outside of the Netherlands call it 
supping. I haven't lived in the US since this became a worldwide phenomenon. Now, another way in which gezelligheid is integrated into Dutch culture, and you will see examples of this, is with the holidays, where when people go see families, now fighting is on gezellig, not gezellig. You do not want that. Fighting ruins the mood, nobody's happy and feeling great. Well, and you know, holiday times is of course a ripe time to talk about family issues, maybe there's drama, maybe people get into little squabbles, you know, that happens all the time. In the US that also happens around Thanksgiving and Christmas, here there is no Thanksgiving but maybe like Easter and Christmas. And around Christmas especially, you will hear the phrase that a lot of Dutch people say, laten we het gezellig houden, let's keep it gezellig, we are gonna sweep that under the rug and we are gonna have a nice time because that's what we're here for. Now while I said that the emphasis is on the social aspect, it's not that the atmosphere does not matter. So of course Dutch people are really drawn to making their homes very cozy. They're, uh, if they go out, they want to go to a place that in, is inviting. They're not going to just pick any old place. And that becomes really apparent when you come to the Netherlands and let's say you're an American on a Euro trip and you go through various countries. I hope that you notice that the Netherlands has this focus on gezelligheid. Like you won't find many restaurants that are just small, casual, with plastic chairs and tables. Whereas I often see settings like that in other countries. Here in the Netherlands, I see a lot less of it. And it doesn't even need to be an upscale, high-end place. Just a casual cafe will have a nice vibe, lots of cozy, soft textures, and in the evening, they will light a candle at your table because of course you need to have that mood lighting. If you live in the Netherlands and you're trying to go out on a date, you can be very lazy because all you have to do is just pick a restaurant that has half decent food and you'll have a really nice time because they're all very cozy. The setting is great for a nice romantic date, so the Netherlands really spoils you. Now I'm not gonna say that America, where I'm from, does not also do this. We have our own idea of coziness, which is like a cozy diner, for instance, and of course we also like nice, hip, trendy places. But here in the Netherlands, it's just different. And I've also noticed recently when I've gone on holidays to other European countries, it's, it's just immediately so apparent to me that the setting is just different. People prioritize different things. Like for instance, I was recently in various little towns in France uh, and, and cities, <laughs> and even though it, it, food was really great and we went to amazing places and had a great time, I noticed, and the Dutch people who were, I was with, also noticed that it just wasn't as cozy as we were used to. And we talked to some people anecdotally who live in France and they said, well, you know, the food is good, so who cares? And absolutely, go for it. But I think that actually exactly speaks to my point. Okay, so now that I've talked a little bit about how you may witness gezelligheid in the wild if you're in the Netherlands, I wanna talk a little bit about how I think that gezelligheid really runs deep into Dutch culture. And maybe it's not the full package, but I see various aspects of it cropping up here and there in just the way Dutch people behave. And here I was thinking, what are all of these quirks? Where do they come from? And I think maybe part of it has to do with the emphasis on being social, sociable and pleasant. So one thing that I've always noticed is that Dutch people love talking about being asocial. Oh, they love it. They love complaining about it. So they'll be like, oh, that is so asocial. Waarom zou je dat doen? Like people, why are you acting asocially? Now, if I say asocial in American, at least to me, that means that you're not being very, you're not being very uh, talkative. You're not engaging in conversation. You're asocial. If I had to put a meaning on that word, that's what it would be. That's not what it means in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, it means that someone is acting. So they're being active and they're going against the social norms and that social component is extremely important now see you heard that car and that car was really loud i think you heard that car how could you not that would be considered a social that you would not be making noise interrupting other people's gezelligheid other people's social lives that is not done my friends the other thing that i notice as people always doing is well, they're social calendars. It is full to the brim. They're always planning. And you know, I have a different take on this now because I have said that this has benefited me because in America we are more spontaneous and we try to make plans as we go along. But at the same time, I found myself in the US not having as many social plans as I do here in the Netherlands. And Dutch people, because they plan and have stuff going on every evening of the week, then they actually see a lot more people. And that 
just sort of facilitates the sociability, the gezelligheid, because you're creating those times to see people foster bonds and relationships. So if I think about this, like sitting at home watching TV, sure, it's relaxing, but it's not very gezellig. So I think Dutch people really want to be in society and involved. So I thought that was interesting because again, if you think about Hugo, which is Danish, I had a feeling that it's more like the introverted cousin of gezelligheid and gezelligheid is very loud, probably American in another life. And now finally, I wanted to share a few very personal things with you about how this has really improved my life, this idea of gezelligheid. And I mean, maybe this sounds really dramatic, but I think to me it has improved my life in some ways because it goes along with my, my uh, thinking that in the last couple of years, I feel like I'm living and not being lived. So I, for instance, really like having things around me being nice and cozy. I make time to see my friends. And of course I would do that before, but I think when I lived in the US, it, there was less of an emphasis on it. I think there was more of an emphasis on practicality. If people were free, we would hang out for instance. And I'm pretty sure this is a personality thing. But for me, for instance, one of my hobbies is walking around and maybe sitting at a cafe and you know, reading a book. And because everything is so cozy, I feel like that experience in Netherlands is just more. It gives me a lot more to work with than it would in a different place or in the US where I've had these experiences. There were a lot of laptops and working on laptops back in the US. Here, there are laptop tables and some cafes don't allow you to work with a laptop. So, you know, that fosters gezelligheid and conversation. And another thing that I started doing pretty quickly since I moved to the Netherlands is making my own personal spaces, so where I live, more gezellig and cozy, inviting, so all of those principles carry over there. And it's whatever that means to me, right? The reason it happened so quickly is because, as I mentioned, my hobby is walking around the streets and peering into the curtainless homes of Dutch people. And then you notice pretty quickly that everything is gezellig. Like, it's not just one thing. It's not that they have a nice cozy couch, right? It's that they have a nice cozy couch and then they have like great mood lighting. They maybe light candles. I'm not kidding you. They just do that on a regular basis. I thought about doing that in the US, but it's just, you get so caught up in other things. And of course you want to make your space nice, but the focus is less on that, but here everybody does it. So you don't even have to be very active about it. You sort of just do it because it's what you see around you. And then it's not just my own personal spaces, but even the public spaces here in the Netherlands, there is a focus on making it inviting. So like the public parks, they have beautiful ponds and trees. It's green, luscious, and I don't even know what it is, but I want to spend so much time in these city parks and I do. And it's funny because I mentioned this really way before years ago that I thought, I don't know what the difference is, but for instance, Central Park in New York is big, it's nice, but here in the Netherlands, the parks are small and cute and really inviting. And recently, again, on my trips this summer to nearby countries, I noticed that the parks were also very nice, but as nice as the ones in the Netherlands. Maybe I just like love living here, so I'm pretty biased. But I thought, oh my God, the parks we have here are so nice with the trees and the ponds. And then you can just sit there on a picnic blanket and on a nice day, people will be doing that. So it's just so gezellig. And if every single day of your life basically is like this, how could that not be an improvement? So anyway, that was all I wanted to share with you today about gezelligheid. As usual, please feel free to drop your thoughts in the comments down below. I love reading them. And until next time.